Another movie theater in Albany is shutting its doors, but the Pine Hills neighborhood says they are not giving up on the area's potential as they look for a buyer. News 10's Anthony Krakowski joins us live in studio with the details. Anthony. Good evening, Cassie. Today was the last day that the Madison Theater will be open to the public. Advertised as upstate New York's only dine-in theater, moviegoers had one more chance to enjoy both a movie and a meal. Everyone in this neighborhood enjoyed Madison Theater. That's why I moved in next door. I would work there and I love being able to come in, have those passes and just be able to watch free movies and eat popcorn. Inside the Madison Theater, patrons coming in to not only see the latest movie releases, but to enjoy a final drink with friends at the bar. Employees say it's this type of atmosphere that made Pine Hills feel like home. For me, it was uh, a great college side hustle on the weekend, a uh, great way to spend my Saturdays and Fridays. We all kind of like know each other really well, so it's been very nice getting to know people, getting to know the community and people we work with. The Madison is not the only theater to say goodbye, as the nearby landmark Spectrum 8 closed its doors just a few days prior. And with the College of St. Rose also closing this summer, local residents are worried for their neighborhood businesses. I really hope someone else is able to take this up, keep it functioning as a theater. Like I said, I just, I really enjoy being able to come here. News 10 spoke with council members representing Pine Hills who believe the closure is temporary, as this is not the first time the theater has gone out of business. I worked with the mayor and capitalized Albany and the Trinity Group to really revive it back, to bring it back into um, fully operation. Owning a small business is always a challenge, but I, there is definitely a big desire. This is a unique theater, and um, it's great that there's interest. Albany Mayor Kathy Sheehan released a statement on the Madison saying in part, Leaders lead. They don't wring their hands in fearmonger, which is why I will continue working with Trinity Realty and the businesses along Upper Madison Avenue to ensure this Pine Hills gem is sold to the next great steward. The Madison Theater did not cite the specific reason for the closure, but did say in a recent Facebook post that they will remain open for private events only as they go through their change. Reporting live in studio, Anthony Krolikowski, News 10, ABC.